Cisco Identity Services Engine, enabling PXGrid and leveraging Firepower Management Center to use it as an identity source. So let's go ahead to Administration, System, Deployment. We'll scroll all the way to the bottom once we get into the node itself and we'll enable PXGrid. Now I've already done this to save time, but the goal here is to make sure that the services are running. So we can do that by accessing the command line and running show application status ICE and make sure those PXGrid services are running. Now that we have that complete, the only other element that we might want to enable is automatically approve new certificates based accounts. So we'll go ahead and check that and hit save. That's all we need to do to have PX Grid running and operating and servicing not only Cisco technologies, but third party technologies as well. So let's go ahead and jump to Firepower Management Center where we'll go ahead to integrations. And from here, we're gonna to go to Identity Source. And I've already pre-configured this, but here's the Identity Services Engines parameters that you're gonna put. So save this out, but put the IP address, the, the PXGrid Server CA and MNT Server CA root. That's your certificate root, uh, Enterprise Root CA certificate for Microsoft environments as an example. And then you'll have one for FMC that was signed by that root CA. That's gonna allow things to happen uh, around communications between Identity Services Engine and FMC. Now we wanna create a directory. We need to add a server here. So go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and jump over to Realm Configuration and we'll go ahead and put in our parameters. I'm using administrative account. You wanna uh, maybe use a least privileged account here. And then once you do that, you're gonna go ahead and download the groups that you want included um, within Firepower. So I've got a set of groups, domain admins, users, IT sales, HR, etc. And then we want to enable the Realm itself. So once we do that, we're good to go. We're now getting user to IP mappings. Total clients, we see two. If we jump into here, we're going to see, if we click on clients, we can see here's the connection between Firepower Management Center and Identity Services Engine. That was that automatically client certificate accept that happened here automatically once we added those elements within Identity Services Engine. And that's it.